Southeastern Conference gets 10 teams into the NCAA baseball tournament. The Aggies of Texas A&M, obviously one of them. 13 years in a row for Rob Childress and A&M to get into the field of 64. Third longest current active streak going. And let's start there. It's hard to do. I mean, one of the teams that was gone 27 years in a row, Cal State Fullerton, dropped off that list. Tough to get to this field each year like that. And always great to hear your name called. Well, it is. I mean, a lot of things got to go your, your way throughout the course of the 56-game schedule and and to find a way into the postseason. It's awful hard to do and something we certainly don't take for granted. Duke is up first as you head to Morgantown for regional play. Starting to dig into what you can of a scouting report. What does it tell you about the Blue Devils? Well, Chris Pollard's done a great job in a short amount of time in that program. They've been in a regional three of the last four years. and. They were nine innings away from Omaha last year in the Lubbock Super Regional, so this is nothing new to them. They're well coached and got physicality up and down the lineup, quite a few left-handed hitters, and uh, they lost one of their big left-handed arms early in the year, and they've certainly absorbed that and had other guys step up and do really well for them. It ought to be a great opening round game. When you think about the teams on the other side, there's Fordham, there's the host West Virginia. One thing about Fordham is you've seen them before, but does that mean a whole lot considering you saw them in February to begin the season? Well, it doesn't. I mean, you know, we did get an idea that they're incredibly well coached and, and they play with a chip on their shoulder. They've gone on to steal almost 180 bases as a team and uh, West Virginia is incredibly hot right now and another team that's going to run a lot of pressure. But our whole focus is all about Duke and doing whatever we can to find a way to beat them on Friday. Regionals are always pretty tightly competitive and you know not a lot separates a lot of teams at this point in the season. It's the best of the best. And I know you like to say it's going to come down to who's routine. You do the small things, you got a better chance of advancing. Well, it is. I mean, the road to Omaha is awful crowded in February. I think 297 teams all have the same goal. Now it's down to 64 and it's all about, you know, finding that spark and catching fire and riding that wave for a couple of weeks to Omaha and another couple of weeks for a national championship. We appreciate the time. Good luck in Morgantown. Thank you. Rob Childress from College Station. The Aggies head that way tomorrow.